where the flag bearer for the great consolidated popular party, Dr. Henry Latte, says the one factory in each district policy proposed by the party's presidential nominee is not feasible. At a news conference in Accra, he argued the NPP could not even sustain the few factories it put up during its eight-year regime. Dr. Harry Latte says the attitude of the Progressive People's Party and the New Patriotic Party towards the NDC government is a typical manifestation of a group of people who do not want to see Ghana progress. He said every Ghanaian has the responsibility to support any party in government to develop the country and this does not reflect in the attitude of the PPP and the NPP. We are not like the PPP and the and people who just criticize for the sake of criticizing. They think if they criticize, they bring you down, then they can win an election. But when you destroy a country, how are you going to build it up? We believe we have to help the NDC to be successful, however small it is, so that if we are able to win, or when we are able to win, we'll build on top of the strengths of the economy. Dr. Henry Latte said a GCPP government will focus on two major areas, agriculture and energy. He stressed Ghana's transformation will be rapid and impact positively on the lives of every Ghanaian. If you give the GCP a chance, in two years we'll turn this economy around. Not because I'm saying it, because I've seen it happen in my own lifetime. I'll help farmers to achieve it. And then when I'm giving the resources of the country, I'll use the same skills. All those I financed, none of them failed. 